Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Rust in 2024. Uh, we're going to start by optimizing uh, with my new video, uh, Windows and NVIDIA. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X3D or the 7950X3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again, capture, capture, make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing uh, I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to start by gameplay. So I want to mention here, I'm going to give you a lot of like advice depending on like to boost your FPS, to have a better visibility, but it really depends what is your goal, 
uh, what type of hardware that you have are you struggling to have your 60 do you want 120 240 so i'm going to tell you which one will provide you the most of your fps and after that just customize on your preference so the first one is fov honestly if you're doing some pvp you have to play at 90 uh a bigger fov means you're gonna lose some fps if you're really struggling with the game maybe start at 80 and do my guide and after that look at your fps but this one it's pretty huge go with 90 head bop i recommend to deactivate it too much noise uh, when your head is moving like crazy uh fps control i recommend to go with advanced plus ping you're gonna see your stats over there top left um that's pretty much it for this yeah exactly so after that you have physic super important to put your max gib at zero and creation effect at off honestly it will help a lot if you have like a bad cpu but uh if, even if you have a good cpu just put this one at zero it's pretty huge it's like 10 to 15 percent boost in your fps and deactivate your rgb lighting after that, you're going to go to the screen. So the first one is your resolution. Make sure that you're playing native. In my case, I have a 1440p monitor. So don't downgrade your resolution over there. The game will look too blurry. Make sure also that you're running the game at full screen. Less input lag, better FPS. So super important to do that. My VSync is all the way that off to have the lowest input lag possible. Um, you can use other technology like G-Sync or FreeSync with Radian if you want to synchronize your GPU with your monitor, if you don't like those steering line. For FPS limit, uh, I, a lot of people just bl block them at 240, but me, I put them at zero. So I just unlock my FPS to have the lowest input lag. Don't go too crazy with your FPS in this game. You can have some thermal issues. So for example, you're playing on a laptop, 60 hertz monitor don't go too crazy maybe lock your fps at 90 something like that uh, because if you have terminal issue you will have more problem go to graphic now so graphic quality start at medium render scale put it this one at one you don't want to down scale your game the game will look too blurry after that you have dlss honestly dlss is not really good and i don't know why for the latest update now when i put any of them, they're, they're apply in my option, but when I connect to a server, it deactivate my DLSS. Uh, so before I was telling people, if you're really struggling, I don't know, you have like a 2060 RTX, go with max quality and put your render scale at 0.7. But uh, honestly, right now, just don't use that. It's, it's not very good for your visibility. The implementation is not good in this game. Shadow quality, I like to put this one at 1 because at 0, you see a lot of jitter in the on the floor, so it's smoothed out at 1. Shadow cascade, make sure that you're using no cascade over there. Max shadow light, water quality, water reflection, everything at 0. Over there, you can expect a nice 14% boost. Shader level, I like to play at 300. If you're struggling with the game, go at 200, but this is like a sweet spot. Draw distance, I like to play at 1. Well, uh, 1,500 when I can put it, <laughs> it doesn't want to go. But uh, yeah, if you want to snipe and you're uh, on a static place on a roof, something like that, you can definitely go 2,500. But this one will tank your FPS. So that's why my recommendation is go with, with this. But if you're struggling to run the game, honestly, start at like 1,000. Do some testing. Go lower if you need so. Or go higher if you have a proper amount of FPS. Shadow distance, I recommend to go with the lowest 50. Over there, you're going to uh, save 6% boost in your FPS. And it's tropic filtering. You can play at 16 easily. Parallax mapping, recommend to go zero. Global rendering, make sure this one is at off. It tanks your FPS like crazy. Uh, the only uh, why you should maybe sometime using at on, you will see uh, further like in front of you like some base. Uh, if you want to attack so if you're looking for base maybe you can go with on and put your distance a little bit higher but honestly you're gonna lose like 35 percent of your fps so <laughs> no, i don't recommend to use that grass displacement i recommend to go this one at on uh, when you have like longer grass it's easier to find like a weapon when you can kill someone or something like that so this one's super important grass shadow i recommend to go with off a nice four percent boost and your reflex mode if you have it because you have an nvidia card go with on Particle quality, this one at zero, it tank your FPS a lot. If you have like a bad CPU, this one is huge. And honestly, everyone just go with zero. You're going to stabilize your FPS. Object quality, I recommend to go 100 with tree quality. It's a sweet spot over there. If you go at 50 for both, you're just going to gain like 2%. So it's not a huge deal, honestly. So my recommendation is like stay at 100. You're going to have a decent image quality and... Uh, a good amount of FPS. Max tree mesh. If you can't run it easily at 100, go 100. If not, go 50. 
uh i kind of like prefer the the, the 100 honestly you see a little bit better through them so um yeah that's pretty much it entering grass decor go with zero you can expect over there a nice seven percent boost Image effect, everything at off except two. Uh, Anti-aliasing, I'm not a fan of SMAA or TSSAA. Those ones are very blurry, honestly. Uh, my recommendation is maybe go with off. Look at your game. If you don't like uh, your aliasing, it's moving too much. Go with the basic one, the FXAA. You're going to lose 2% to 3% in your FPS, but it's going to smooth it out a little bit. And uh, please use Sharpen. The game is, honestly, is very blurry, so put this one at on. I hope in the future they're going to put like some kind of slider. It doesn't affect your FPS, so it's just like an act activate or disactivate. The last one is experimental off over there. Uh, use the optimized loading at partial and if you have the memory go maximum with this it's gonna help a lot when you connect to a server it's gonna be a lot faster so this is pretty much it guys for my rust 2024 guide if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace